Hello everyone, how are you doing? I miss seeing everybody so much. And you know, one of the things that I miss from seeing everybody so much is singing together. One of the songs that I miss singing together is You're My Brother, You're My Friend. Let's try it right now. Get someone from the family and try it together. Here we go. You're my brother, you're my friend, my beginning and my end. All around me as the world does what? It turns and walks away. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. You're the rain to wash my tears away. I can always count on you. You're my brother, you're my sister, you're my friend. Good, now get someone else and try it with somebody else. Here we go. You're my brother, you're my friend. My beginning and my end All around me as the world does what? It turns and walks away You're my sunshine on a cloudy day You're the rain to wash my tears away I can always count on you You're my brother, you're my sister, you're my friend Alright, one last time, somebody else, here we go, ready? You're my brother, you're my friend You're my beginning and my end All around me as the world does what? It turns and walks away You're my sunshine on a cloudy day You're the rain to wash my tears away Well, I can always count on you You're my brother, you're my sister You're my friend Okay, so today we are going to talk about the word thoughtful. That's the next word in our adventurous law. In Spanish, it says, Jesús puede ayudarme a ser atento. And in English, it says, Jesus can help me to be thoughtful. Well, what does that mean? Let me tell you a story and maybe you'll understand better. It's a story that I read one time in a book and maybe you know it. It's about a girl and a boy and the one day they were really, really bored. His name was William or Guillermo and her name was Teresita. And they were just thinking, what are we going to do? We're so bored. And then he thought of an idea. I have an idea. Let's have a secret organization of doing nice things to other people when they need it. And she thought, that's a great idea. And so they planned it out and they did all kinds of things. One time they had a, a neighbor who was sick. It was an older lady and she was sick. And so they came in, they kind of snuck in and they left some food on the table and then they left and, and then she didn't know who it was. She just saw a note that said, oh, this is from the Seeker Organization of Kindness. And she thought, who is this? And then another time they, they, they had a friend who was sick as well, couldn't go to school and they hadn't seen him in a while. And they threw some, some pa package with things for him to do on every day. He would do different things. And he was so happy about that, but he didn't know who it was because the note said from your friends, the secret society of kindness or something like that. And they were so happy to do it and they had so much fun and they did all many, many different kinds. That's being thoughtful because they thought about what the other person needed or what the other person would want, what the other person would enjoy that day. That means being thoughtful, ser atento. Atento no necesariamente de prestar atención, sino atento de prestar atención a lo que la gente necesita, de fijarse lo que la gente necesita. So we're talking about looking and paying attention what the people need. And that reminds me of another time. One time when I was in, in school, a class did something similar for me. They were very thoughtful and attentive. They had a campaign, a secret campaign to do nice things to teachers without knowing who they were or, or what they were doing or different people, right? And so one time I came into my classroom and there was confetti all over my desk and there, were, there was candy all over my desk and there was a gift card and it said, 
because kindness is meant to be thrown around. And so that's being kind, right? But it's also being thoughtful because they were thinking about what would be nice to do for someone or what would this person need or what they would enjoy. That means you're thinking, you are, you are stopping your day and actually thinking about the other person and saying, what can I do for them that would be nice for them? So that is what thoughtful means. And you know what I did in that time? So I said, how can I, how, what can I, how can I find out who it was? Well, I knew that there was a class in the elementary that was having a campaign about kindness. On their door, it said, spread love or kindness like confetti. And so I figured, hmm, I think I know who the who these secret thoughtful people are. And so what I did is I snuck into their classroom because I had the key to the classroom, right? So I snuck into their classroom at one night and for every single student, I made a little note and I put some candy and I put something like, when you are thoughtful to someone else, you will receive, you will always receive also kindness and thoughtfulness as well. And so I did that and I put that there and I left it there so that in the morning they would all find it. So my question to you is, what are you gonna do for being thoughtful? How can you be thoughtful? Today, how can you be thoughtful? Even now, you're saying, you're saying, well, I'm home, I can't do anything. Really, you cannot do anything? There's nothing you can do to be thoughtful for other people? Yes, there is, and you can, but you have to be creative and you have to be thoughtful. That means you have to think about, tiene que ser atento, para ser atento tiene que pensar en lo que vas a hacer para otras personas. So you have to stop to think, what can you do? Let me give you a challenge, a little dare if you would. How can you? be thoughtful in this day and age. Well, you're like, well, right now I can't because I'm stuck at home. Really? There's nothing you can do? Yes, there is. I bet if you think about it, if you are thoughtful, Jesus would help you to find thoughtful ways of seeing what people need and how you can minister, to, how you can make their day better by providing for what they need or doing something nice to them because you were being thoughtful. Jesus will help you do that. But how about if you do that without them knowing that would be even more fun, it would be even better. What if all the adventurers did that this summer for, I don't know, a week? or two weeks, how long do you think you can do that for? How about you try for two weeks and see what happens and just be thoughtful and ask Jesus, Jesus, how can I be thoughtful to my mom? How can I be thoughtful to my neighbor? How can I be thoughtful to my friend? Even if it means at a distance, you can always send something, you can always uh, make a call or, or something like that. Just find creative ways that you can be thoughtful for other people. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you so much because we have great examples of what to be thoughtful. You were thoughtful with us. Help us to be thoughtful. Ayúdanos a ser atentos. Help us to think about what other people need and how we can help them. In Jesus' name, amen. We will see you next time when we have our last word of the law. God bless you.